Six states across the country have passed strict abortion bans, eyeing the now conservative majority on the U.S. Supreme Court. The abortion bill here in Alabama has been delayed one more day after chaos caused the Senate to adjourn for the day without a vote. CBS 42's Malik Rankin has been following this bill as lawmakers are questioning how Senate President Will Ainsworth handled the chamber today. Malik, some heated moments that played out before our cameras. That's right, Jack and Sherry. Shouting typically doesn't get a lot done, and our state senators had to learn that lesson the hard way earlier today. That's because Lieutenant Governor Will Ainsworth couldn't restore order to the Senate. They had to adjourn early. He did not make a motion. He made a motion to table. What was the motion made? The, the motion. No motion was made. You just excuse me. The chaos began when an amendment that would have allowed cases of rape and incest as an exception to the abortion bill was removed without a roll call vote. The Senate president called for a voice vote to remove the amendment, a move Democrats say Ainsworth intentionally did quickly to sidestep a floor debate and a roll call vote. I sat down with CBS 42's political analyst Steve Flowers. He says legislators are wasting their breath shouting because this bill won't hold up in the Supreme Court. The bill's a joke. It's a waste of time. They should just pass a resolution. They do this every year, and why they, why Singleton would even care? It doesn't matter if they put rape or incest on this thing. The court's not going to listen to it anyway. All it does is make it even more unconstitutional. Flowers says he expects it to take just a few weeks for the abortion bill to be overturned if it becomes law. Now our state lawmakers are expected to revisit this bill and its controversial amendments on Tuesday. In Birmingham for CBS 42, I'm Malik Rankin. Local coverage you can count on.